As ideas are constitutive of our being, uh, and as change involves the restructuring of identity, hence a kind of death and resurrection, the restructuring of your ideas and values involves a kind of death. The danger that we all face is, um, having been resurrected, so to speak, the natural desire to kill the process of restructuring so as to avoid any further dying, uh, to mistake axioms for truth, to kill our gods only to erect new ones in their place. In short, to throw away the ladder of fallibilism post-philosophic restructuring. Personally, I have no interest in trying to dissuade you or anyone else for that matter from antinatalism or ethalism. Um, rather, I would only implore you uh, to doubt your doubt and certainties, to not shed the fallibilism that was instrumental to the adoption of antinatalism having become an adherent to its tenets. If we are not our own um, gadflies, constantly stinging ourselves out of philosophic lethargy, we are, in Zizek's words, um, the undead who as the living remain dead. Might not tourism be a better uh, policy and procedures manual, if you will, than otherwise? Very rarely do you hear of tourists going to war or tourists raping and murdering one another, so on and so forth. I'm reminded of Max Stirner. He said, um, your head is haunted, you know. You fill your imagination with all kinds of wonderful things and, um, you know, that you envision at yourself as called by a kind of spiritual realm, if you will. His point is that um, there is no objective morality, right? That this is an illusion. It's an every bit as real an illusion as perhaps free will is, but illusory nonetheless. And um, it seems like antinatalists run away from this as strongly as a fundamentalist might run away from uh, um, evidence, to, you know, for the non-existence of God, right? Personally, I have no interest in trying to dissuade you or anyone else for that matter from antinatalism or ethalism. The kind of death and resurrection, a kind of death. Danger that we all face kill so as to avoid any further dying, to kill the undead who, as the living, remain dead, going to war, raping and murdering one another, so on and so forth. This is an illusion, a kind of spiritual realm, if you will. This uh, is yet another example of shoddy natalist emotionalism, thoroughly grounded in emotion, right? Um, nothing more than disgusting rhetoric. Suffering has no value. And when I make this claim, I'm really only echoing a contention made by Nietzsche, and uh, that's all there is to it, right? Um, so... Uh, so um, I don't think um, I don't really care to take up this uh, topic anymore. Um, <clears throat> it's just kind of grown a little bit boring, to be honest with you. Um, 